Welcome movie buffs. Today I'm going to recap a French drama, The Valet, that is about a parking valet and a top model who have to pretend to be a couple in order to save a CEO's marriage. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. The movie begins with two parking valets, Francois and Richard, in two separate cars. They stop at a signal, greet each other, and then move to their work. They hand over the cars to their owners and leave for their homes. Francois tells Richard he has to see his ill father who has bronchitis. He reaches home and sees his mother who tells him she has called the doctor. Francois is concerned about his health and enters his room where he finds the doctor on his father's bed. He learns that his father is fine, but the doctor is sick and needs treatment. The doctor examines himself and finds everything stable. A great doctor kills more people than a great general. A little later, his daughter Emily reaches there to pick him up. When they have gone, Francois' parents talk about the wedding proposal Francois is going to make to Emily the next day. His mother likes Emily as she is beautiful and independent, but his father is concerned about his financial condition that doesn't allow him to get married. Francois shows the wedding ring to Richard and tells him he will propose Emily tomorrow with this ring, but Richard apprehends that she will reject his proposal. Pierre Levasseur is a wealthy married Parisian executive involved in an affair with top model Elena Simonson. He wants to marry her and divorce his wife Christine, who is a major shareholder in the company where he works as a CEO. He secretly sees Elena at his hideaways. Emily runs a bookstore where Francois goes to propose to her. She goes with him on lunch at a restaurant where he gives her the ring, but she rejects his proposal, saying she considers him her brother. He feels greatly hurt and is about to cry. What a wussy. She further tells him she has business problems and owes 32, 450 euros to the bank. Pierre gives a diamond chain to Elena who insists on divorcing his wife. They have some heated arguments and Elena leaves in anger. Pierre rushes after her, but she doesn't seem to be convinced. When they are in the street, a paparazzo reaches there and takes their photograph with Francois, who is passing by them. Elena tells Pierre she's been waiting for two years and can't wait anymore. Pascal reaches Emily's bookstore and buys a couple of magazines. He pays for them, flirts with Emily, and leaves the store. He is interested in marrying Emily, but she is not. Her assistant Marie tries to convince her, considering him a better option than Francois, but Emily doesn't prefer to think either of them. Francois reaches his apartment and tells Richard about Emily's refusal. Richard tries to console him, but Francois is really hurt and dejected. He gets angry with Richard and asks him to go to his drunken mother. Richard is furious and starts collecting his clothes in a bag. The photograph is published on the front page of the local newspaper the following day. Pierre's wife, Christine, sees it and questions Pierre about it. The happiest marriage I can picture would be the union of a deaf man to a blind woman. He is surprised to see it and tells her he doesn't know Elena and she must have been with Francois, who was on the way with them. Christine doesn't seem to believe him and asks for further explanation. Pierre poses to be angry and tells her he will consult his lawyer and sue the magazine that published his photo without his permission. He reaches his office and sees his lawyer, Foy. If there were no bad people, there would be no good lawyers. He tells him his problem and asks for any possible solution. He tells him that the only way to solve the problem is to find Francois and have him pretend to be Elena's boyfriend. Pierre disagrees with him, calling it an insane solution, as Elena won't be ready to live with Francois. Maitre asks him to offer her two million euros, and she will be ready to do it. Pierre doesn't like this option too, but accepts it helplessly. He sees Elena and offers her two million euros to pose as Francois's girlfriend. She doesn't like his offer and asks him to divorce his wife. He tells him he can't do it immediately as she is a major stakeholder in his business. She agrees to help him if he gives her 10 million euros. But he doesn't agree to it, considering it a huge sum of money. At this, she raises the amount to 20 million. He doesn't like her increasing demand, considering her a selfish girl. But she tells him it will be a deposit only and will be returned to him if he divorces Christine in a month. Maitre sees Francois and offers him money to pretend as a couple with a supermodel. Francois can't believe it, neither do I, but he eventually agrees and asks for 32,450 euros. 
the exact amount that will pay off Emily's debts. Maitre goes to Pierre and tells him Francois, who is ready to accept their offer. Maitre asks him about Elena's response, and Pierre tells him she demanded a deposit of two million euros. He tells Pierre she is blackmailing him only and won't return his money, but Pierre has no other option than accepting her demand. Christine reaches Francois's apartment to confirm whether he and Elena live together or not. When she sees Elena there, she leaves immediately. She hires a detective, Berman, to watch over them 24 hours. Maitre tells Elena about Berman, who is chasing her in his car. He asks her to take the black Audi in the backyard and leaves from the back exit. She sees Maitre, who gives her the bank record to confirm 20 million deposits in her account. She takes it happily and signs the agreement. He asks her to be with Francois everywhere to make Christine believe they are a real couple. Soon, Pierre reaches and she asks him to divorce her wife as soon as possible. But he says that it is not very easy. Francois and Richard are at work when Elena reaches and kisses Francois, surprising everyone around. Richard asks Francois about Elena and he tells him she is his friend, which surprises Richard. Elena tells Francois about the photographs taken by Paul, who is always after them. Francois doesn't take any notice of him, and they decide to go for lunch in a restaurant. Emily tells Marie about Francois's offer to pay off her debt, but she doesn't believe it is true as she knows his financial status. Soon Pascal reaches the bookstore with his new cell phone and asks Emily to go for lunch together. She accepts his offer and goes with him. Pierre is unhappy to see Elena's photos kissing Francois. When they reach there, they find Francois and Elena already present there. Emily is surprised to see him with Elena, but Pascal is impressed with him and gives them his visiting cards. Pascal asks Emily to leave her bookstore and start a cell phone business as there is more scope in it, but she disagrees with him. He asks about her star and she tells him she is Taurus. Pretending himself to be a palmist, he asks her to show her hand. When she shows her hand, he starts kissing it. Getting jealous of them, Francois starts kissing Elena, which surprises her. Later, they leave the restaurant while Pascal and Emily continue to take their lunch. Marie is surprised to know about Elena's relationship with Francois and doesn't believe in it. Emily doesn't want to discuss them anymore and asks Marie to drop it. When Francois reaches his apartment, he receives his mother's message about his father's birthday. Listening to her message, he suddenly notices someone with a torch through the window at the opposite building. He is Paul, who sets his camera in front of his window so that he may capture their photographs. He tells Elena about him, but she asks him not to bother about it and to behave normally. Soon, Richard arrives there to collect his PlayStation and is surprised to see Elena. He can't believe it and confronts Francois that he must be gay living with a supermodel. He doesn't have the kahunas. Francois begs to disagree and Richard leaves with his tail between his legs. When he has left, Francois tells her she has upset his life, causing a misunderstanding between him and Emily. Later, he receives a call from Maitre who asks him about a fashion show where Elena is posing the next day. A lot of modeling is just like how much crap you can take. After he hangs up, he receives a call from Emily, who asks him to keep his money and never call her again. He tries to explain why he is with Elena, but she doesn't want to listen to him and hangs up in anger. He gets dejected, but Elena asks him not to be sad as Emily will contact him again. Then they go to sleep while Paul takes their photographs in bed. He informs Pierre about their sleeping together in the same bed. He feels sad but is helpless and can't do anything about it. Pascal calls Emily late at night and asks her to have lunch again, but she doesn't like it. He then asks her to request Francois to visit his stop with Elena so that he may display her photos in his store to attract more customers. She gets angry with him and hangs up. While sleeping, Francois turns around and presses Elena's breast, dreaming about Emily. Paul captures this scene but suddenly feels the presence of someone and hides in a corner. Berman reaches there to spy on them, but doesn't see Paul, apparently. When Pierre sees their photographs, he gets enraged and jealous of Francois. Berman calls Christine and tells her about Francois and Elena sleeping together. He tells her about Paul, who spies on them all the time. Francois attends the fashion show where Christine is also present and observing Francois's expressions. Elena looks gorgeous in her wedding dress and gets the first prize. Meanwhile, 
Christine's men put curtains in Francoise's room so that they may not be photographed. Pierre tells Maitre he is not divorcing Christine as he needs her in the business. Maitre appreciates his decision. A few moments later, Paul calls him and tells him about the curtains in Francoise's room. Pierre is enraged to learn about it, but Maitre asks him to calm down. When Francois reaches home, he is surprised to see such beautiful curtains there. He thinks Elena has bought them for him. Maitre calls Francois and asks him about the curtains, and he tells him Elena has put them to secure their privacy. When Elena returns home, she is also surprised to see the curtains and tells Francois she didn't buy them. She then realizes that Christine got these curtains there, as only she can do it to get Pierre more irritated. Francois doesn't like this act and returns Elena the amount he got for the deal, but she asks him to give it to Emily as she needs it more than her. Marie sees Elena and Francois's pictures in the magazine and shows them to Emily. They think Francois is getting married to Elena as she poses in a wedding dress. Emily feels sad at this and is about to cry. Just then, Elena reaches there and gives her the amount she needs to pay off her debt. She goes to the restaurant where Pascal reaches and invites her to lunch, and she immediately agrees. Emily goes to Francois and kisses him as she learns that he is not marrying Elena. Christine sees Pierre at his office and tells him she has put the curtains at Francois's house as she knows everything. She secretly records Pierre saying he has no intention of leaving her for Elena and offering to take his wife on a second honeymoon. Elena and Francois go to attend his father's birthday, and his parents are surprised to see him with such a beautiful supermodel. Emile and her father also reach there, and they celebrate the birthday together. Christine sends the tape to Elena, who decides to leave Pierre. She notifies Pierre of her leaving by sending Francois to meet him in her car at a secret rendezvous point. Francois conveys the news to Pierre, who angrily responds that he has voided the 20 million euro transfer. Francois then tells Pierre that Elena doesn't want the money. Francois then walks away from the limo as a cross-dressing prostitute approaches Pierre, and a paparazzo photographs the two. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay awesome.